patient where people have felt as though one is where's the manager stand? Yeah, what, what, that, that was going to be my next question. Is you're this? there, yeah. right? And and optically, everyone can see you there, so they assume that you have a role, that you have a part in, um, that you have influence. Um, but what is your role? What do you do there? Are you just, you know, s- uh, sitting up there to look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about looking pretty. Um, <laughs> I don't know about looking pretty up there. Um, I am sitting up there. Uh, so I, I, my role, my role as a, as a city manager, it's, it's, very, it's very interesting because people want me sometimes as the leader, as the CEO of the city, c- to come out and make public statement mm-hmm. on political issues. Yeah. I mean, I do. Right. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. I look. I'm like, yo, Eric. That's my boy, he's Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? What's it? Where's he at? What's it? Why is he not doing and, anything right now? And 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 I uh, and and I have the freedom to do that, right? I, it's not like I can't do that. I, I can do that. Um, I choose not to, and the reason I choose not to is because the reason I choose not to is because um, what's happening here is that the council is the elected body. Yeah. The council are the ones who uh, are the ones who make. Uh, if they want to, uh, of their choosing to make political statements uh, uh, on their behalf, etc. They're the elected body. I'm the, I'm the administrator. And my job is to manage the administration and manage the operations of the city. And so to try to uh, uh, stay on, a, uh, on an unbiased kind of uh, manner here, right? Yeah. Because um, uh, I need to be able to kind of balance all those things. And so I try to stay away from that. And when it comes to these matters, right, um, my role there is to try to manage the situations that we have in front of us as, as an administrator. Um, and here in this example, right, uh, when the petition comes forward or when orders put on, et cetera, um, those are the things that I, I stay away from because that's not the role of the city manager. I don't even see the agenda. I see the agenda when you see it on Friday oh, okay. when it's published. Okay. Um, the only thing that I do see is the items that I submit things that I submit that I'm approving to make sure that they're on the agenda. Okay. Right? I don't mean to interrupt you, but for the sake of time, I really want to get this question in. Why? So the city clerk is the one who puts things on the agenda, right? Yes. From my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, the city clerk is your, under your administration. No. Okay. Correct me, please. No, the city, clerk, the city clerk is an employee uh, of the city council. Okay. So the city council appoints three individuals, the, the city manager, the city clerk, and the city auditor. Okay. All three individuals or, uh, now, do you guys work to together in tandem at any point? I mean, wh- I need to work with the auditor sometimes when it comes to finances okay. to understand finances or the clerk if I have any questions related to some of the operations. Uh, but the, uh, the city clerk has autonomy to make decisions on the election process, and I don't get involved in that. I don't, I don't involved in that. City manager's office doesn't okay. get involved in any of that. All so right, it's, very, it's a little different. One more question and I'm done, I promise. It's okay. How do you believe your administration is addressing the concerns in the BIPOC community about feeling silenced and marginalized by your administration? And I want to say not only by your administration, but by the administrations as long as I'm sure the history of Worcester. Um, yeah. So what is your administration doing to address those concerns in yeah. the BIPOC community? Yeah. It, it, it's I can't speak for the historical piece. Right. I'm going to Just speak for your my administration, administration right. right now. Right. What, um, I think oftentimes what happens is people have expressed concerns or feeling a certain way, and I don't even know about it because the first time I'm hearing about their concerns or frustration sometimes is even, it's on social media. Yeah. Right. It's not like someone said called me or said, "Hey, let's have a meeting. I want to talk about an issue that I have or a concern that I have. Can you help me address it?" Yeah. Right. Um, and so sometimes I'm more reacting than, than I am actually working with individuals to resolve issues. I acknowledge that we as administration in, in many different fronts, right? I oversee 2,000 plus uh, employees. All those 2,000 plus employees make decisions on a day-to-day basis, right? I'm not, I don't make those decisions. They make those decisions, but I'm responsible for all of them. And so I need to make sure that on my role is to set a culture that they're respectful, that they're also listening and adhering uh, to the community, especially the BIPOC community, because there's a community that I represent. There's a community that I have have tons of lived experiences from, yeah. uh, right? And, and so I want them to understand that. Um, and so that's why it's important to have uh, an equity officer to come in to help us build these policies, to help us build these practices so that it starts to trickle down and create a culture within all 2,000 plus employees yeah. so that community doesn't feel like that 
in an in a, in a, in a interaction with a parks employee, but yet saying the administration is the problem. Um, it's 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 uh, how do we all make sure that all of our employees are aligned in terms of how do how do we work with the community in a diverse community that we have here in the city to making sure that we're respectful of everyone and we're listening most importantly listening to the issues that our community is bringing forward it's a great point wish we would have did that on tuesday with that being said what's the best way for people to get um those uh, feelings out there to, to maybe reach you. See, I always hit my boy Tom's email, but yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah. I can. I give out Tom's email? That no, no, no. <laughs> you can. That's fine. You can. You can. Um, people can email city manager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people can email city manager at wilshiremay.gov. Uh, my executive uh, manages that uh, that account, and so any emails that come forward, requests of meetings, conversations, etc. Uh, we always take them seriously, and um, and they always bring them to me to vet to whether I want to meet with the person or do we refer them to another department. Because uh, yeah. sometimes, depending on the meeting, it's something that you know you may want to you may ask something about transportation. Okay, then meet with Steve Raleigh, have a conversation right. with Steve Raleigh, and and work that out um, because he may be able to give you more details than I could. Yeah. Uh, so depending on the matter, we but email city manager uh, at worcesterma.gov and yeah. we'd be happy to and respond. Then he'll direct you where Absolutely. you guys go. All right. That's it. We're